We here at Pittsburgh Today Live are so proud to be heading up the drive for this year's KDKA TV Turkey Fund. You know what it's about. It's about caring for our neighbors, making sure that people who need a little help this Thanksgiving are able to enjoy a warm meal with their family. Yeah, and your generosity each year is absolutely overwhelming. You know, this is the 40th year for the KDKA TV Turkey Fund, and none of this would have worked if not for the kindness of all of you and our generous community partners as well. So here's how it all started. It was 1982 and the steel industry was hurting and so were the people here. People had lost their jobs and many wondered how they were going to make ends meet. Yeah, and so this started when a stranger, a stranger, handed KDKA commentator Al Julius a $10 bill and said, make sure that a needy family gets this. Well, that's how it all began. That's how this idea was born. Al Julius went on the air and launched the KDKA TV Turkey Fund in the fall of 1982. The whole station has been involved, but it was really Al Julius who brought all his passion to this in the beginning. And then Wayne Van Dyne took over and eventually our beloved Yvonne Zanos and her family headed up this campaign. What's really impressive is the response from all of you. Over the past four decades, this campaign has raised more than $19 million for people in need throughout the greater Pittsburgh viewing area. Yeah, and just think about what that means for a minute. How many families were able to enjoy a meal because of your donations? It's something Al Julius and Wayne Van Dyne and Yvonne Zanos and all the shepherds of this campaign would be very, very happy about. And then it was Thanksgiving three years ago that Team PTL took over the campaign. We volunteered at the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. We learned about all the work that people there do to help families in our area, not just for Thanksgiving, but all year long. Selena, Mikey, Ron, and David and I visited schools where kids raise money for this every year. Yeah, it's really great to see the kids involved and revved up to, to be involved in this. And this year we have even the turkey cookies from Bartram House Bakery to help us raise money. So we're really doing all we can think of. Yeah, and last year with the help of our partner, school districts and you, the KDK TV Turkey Fund raised nearly a million dollars mm. for local families. That's a record amount for a single year in the four decades since the fund started. Yeah, but you know what? We know there are many families in need this year and some of them because of the pandemic and we want to make sure that they have a Thanksgiving where they know people care. They know their neighbors care. So we really we are putting this to you and to mm -hmm. all of us to try to break last year's record. So now is the time to donate to the annual KDK TV Turkey Fund. New this year, you can scan the QR code that we were talking about earlier on the show. You see it on your screen right now. If you use your phone and open up the camera app, you can just scan that. It'll take you directly to kdka.com slash turkey fund. Or you can stop by any PNC bank branch, uh, send a text message, donate online, or you can send a check to P.O. Box Thanks. And we thank you, Pittsburgh, for you, your continued support. We really do appreciate how you always come through. And it's heartwarming. It really is. It really is. So what's next? Well, each week we're bringing you a look inside the turkey fund. Today we looked back. And we also want to look forward. Yeah, so next week we have a friend of the show, little Michaela, and we'll also show you how local schools are raising money to donate for this cause. And I just had an idea. I'm what? dropping this one on you. But okay. I think that we should also do a story about how families who might be in need get on the list to receive a warm meal. I don't think it's too late to add that, right? No, you're saying it right now. We can make it happen because I think that's really important so that families do know how they can get involved. So look for that in the coming weeks. We have a lot planned for you and we're really excited about it.